Here we go. This entire facility submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. My form is but a shadow of our truth. We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the surface of the form. You leave us. Okay, so let's see. Uh, four turn cooldown there. Three, five. Let's get reloads in. Not a sexy way to start the last room, but I'll be damned if I want to go in underprepared. Now, Rogue, I'm seeing no armor all of a sudden. Uh, why does he have no armor now? They actually expect us to buy any of this. Do you have something? Hold on. I don't know if the hive armor gives armor or something on hit. I'm pretty sure we had. I'm pretty sure we had one. Whatever. One armor shouldn't matter. Andrew's avatar. Getting reports from across the globe, Commander. Advent forces are hitting back hard. Well, let's Our wait one more here, and then we'll go. But it's not looking good. Whatever we're gonna do, we better do it fast. Advent offered right. your people hope. A brighter future. To be something greater. But still, you refuse. What more can we offer you than the greatest gift of all? So much time spent needlessly resisting. Fighting your ascension to something greater. And yet here you are. Just as we had envisioned. And in your efforts to prevent the Avatar's creation, you have followed the path we set forth. Truly exceeding even our own lofty expectations, Commander. Shut him out, Commander. Working on it. Lies. Do you truly believe that to be the case? I'm pretty sure, like, for Spud. Ah. Maybe somewhere over here would be better. Or even just in this corner. The reason I say that is because he can kind of see are stepping up their attacks on both resistance everything and civilian targets there is still another way show us you are our greatest adversary you are our avatar you can lead our armies and save your world Return okay to us there can be no more delay Though I find the what a nice spot for her to be in. Intriguing, I believe we have passed the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to mm. us. You will this is nice because of the rupture. It can be so once again. And then I could use the uh, the tongue pull to get him back. I think. I hope I have the the vision from here around this corner. It's rid of the armor, and we deal additional damage. Actually, we can. I guess we can just run out of there. Okay, that's cool. Did not know. Oh, that's probably because of... Uh... Hold on. Yeah, here. Breakthrough. I guess turn-ending melee attack. We never use swords on these guys, ever, so... We could dimensional rift, but I think we save that. Do 
We could put a little damage on there. I don't think I should blow an Icarus jump this early. I think maybe a flush. Hmm. I'm going to just move up a bit and we'll try to flush her out of there. Decent chances. Uh, what is that? Wait, what the frick just happened? Okay, nicht erwischt. What the? I didn't even catch what went down there. Okay. That's something. Now that she's this far away, so this doesn't help me. Collateral damage doesn't help. I think in this scenario, we uh, try to kill off the, the friendlies. Oh, you know what? Oh, God, that's close. That's really close. Come up a tad. We can take this guy. That helps. And then leave her be for now. I don't think we're going to get... We're not going to be able to kill her. Just turn the tides a bit. It's another target. need 11 more damage on this mech. I guess that'll be okay. 77. Come on, big boy. Oh! The Dark Lord himself. Just owning. I think you're fine in that position. I'll bring Rogue back to full here. And then, uh, Philly, I, I would really like to have an Overwatch somewhere. We're going to spawn in, what, here and here? can't remember. Bring him here for now. I don't have anywhere back that I can move that has cover, so we'll just take the half cover here. What's over there? So she did like some. I don't. I honestly don't even know what that is that she did. Oh, never mind. They're spawning in the middle. Odex like looks like a biomech. Yeah, biomech elite purifier. Because of the golden path missions. Oh God. Shit. That's not good. Ooh, that's well played, Avatar. Well played. 246%. Rick! Because of that um, Golden Path Missions revamp, I think that's what's changing these enemies here. Because normally you see kind of like your standard enemies coming in as like almost a reintroduction to them. Two Overwatches from Philly. Damn it. Made one of them count, though. Shot wide. Frick. So now I'm, like, all in on this, uh... I'm all in on this avatar. She's right here. See what our chances are for shooting. 60 versus, well, 60. And this is better. Um, 
One thing we might consider... No. Well, yeah, I might consider going up here. This gives me squad sight vision on the avatar. Uh, if I come here, however, it's not squad sight, which means that I could come here and I could look for a frostbite. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're immune to frost. It's been so long. But what what that lets me do is hollow target, um, for others and for this guy to hit. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna do this. I think moving Spud up there is too risky. Yeah, that sucks. It's a real bummer. I could put Rogue in and then maybe look for uh, kind of a tongue pull option from Deadput if necessary. It is free. I'd move him up here. I wouldn't mind calling in this Chrysalid, but this would be one action that I could run and gun out to here, but Mm, no. With that rupture on, we gotta, we gotta make it happen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's like half her health. She moves. Excellent. I think this is where we dimensional rift. She's ruptured as well. Uh, oh, this could straight kill. This could straight kill. This could straight kill. The reason I'd want to take this now is because of... Um, is because of um, if we do the damage with the Void Rift, then she's going to move. So I almost wonder if I hollow target this too. I think I will. Just like really amp up our chances. Yeah, 93, much better. Oh, the dodge. Are you for real, though? Now, we do have the burning, and with the rupture, she's going to take extra damage, but how freaking unfortunate is that? Let me tell you how unfortunate it is. Pretty unfortunate. Um, wind, I can kind of get wherever we need to. And I would prefer somewhere over here, I think. Okay, I'm trying to think of if we need to use this dimensional rift because we have the free overwatch with spud. That's fine. I could even do uh, an overwatch with Philly and that's two shots from him. But then what happens? That is the question. I don't know if I have the range to get to get him. And he's now dangling out there completely in the open against these guys that spawned. So the other option is to move uh, the commander up 
and then no lance through there. Then I would still have a couple of shots with wind, baseless, and then even a uh, zone suppression if we want on that group. And I could probably save the uh, the dimensional rift. Kind of depends on making sure that I can pull Rogue back. And I'm a bit concerned about line of sight being an issue. I think I might be better off up top here. Let me do this. That. that still gives us eyes on these guys. Beautiful. Come on back. That's so sick. Oh, okay. And then... A little worried about the range. I'm going to take the cover uh, from this side. We got it. That's damn close. Okay, that's so that's one. Now, this should be a target for that group. We get him back, which is the ultimate goal. Um... I am not going to use Rage Strike right now. We want to keep all of our mobility as long as we can. You here. Because when those avatars spawn, we just want to focus them down. Okay, we can reposition if we want. Dead put, I think we just Overwatch yes, here. I still have Wind. I still have Philly. What's over there? That's a guaranteed kill. Let's take this. That's my aged good. Oh, hair trigger, very nice. And then, I guess we don't even overwatch now. Beautiful. Okay. And why not? Uh, we don't have free reloads on him, so I'll take one now. Uh, you're fine. Jesus. Well, that's a pretty good void rift area. Nice. Good job, little buddy. Oh, this guy's not dead. Oh, damn. Okay. I thought he was dead. Now, the question is, do we... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm a little far away from that. I could come down here and then hit that whole group, I think. Which would be kind of nice. Uh, it shuffles the avatar. But then we're kind of in a rough, like, flanky position from this side. Um, we can probably sub sustain some attacks or damage from uh, because of the bio assault trooper and he's got a decent chunk of armor as well. 
That was a little bit of damage I didn't really want to take. I guess that will be okay. But uh, it now makes our med kit a little bit more of a value heal instead of using it before. And he took that like side damage or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if we can hit this. I mean, I'm not gonna get it as value as this, so. If by chance we can focus down this avatar in one turn, I'd be quite happy. That's not bad. Um, I'm going to go from here with the bio assault, protect against that side. God damn. Dead put. I think this, this looks like a you thing here. Ah, uh, it sucks. Oh, this counts as a flank. Aye, aye. I don't want to frost here. Oh, are you serious? Uh, okay, so that's what happened to him before. She reflected it. Still oh, that sucks. That sucks big time. Oof. Okay, well now... That pretty much confirms what I need to do. Uh, but from where? These guys are all flank central. I do have a flush. I could try... Maybe, maybe this would be a good opportunity, or maybe even like a, maybe just a plasma blaster, just to get her moving, and then we don't waste stuff because it's not absorbed by the armor, and we can still leave him there or move him. Malcolm. Come on, give me a shot with Spud. Move somewhere, move somewhere good. Yes, yes, <laughs> excellent, excellent spot. Merci Boku. Uh, if I get the if I get the frostbite on, then she's not gonna move. But maybe I go hollow target again. My my concern right now is for um for the commander's avatar because it has to survive. We have good cover. Um I wonder if I can I don't think I can get a frost bomb down there. No, I can't. Hmm. I wonder if I bring we have the chance to, like, one-shot. Well, not one-shot at this point, but... I think we come here. Even though she has armor... He's got the best chance of killing her with a crit. 75 to crit. He did crit. Didn't die, but that's fine. Now, wherever she goes, she's got hollow targeting on. Oh, this is great. This is, this is great. Uh, this guy's still alive somehow. Ugh. I 
mean, I think I give this to Lord in this scenario. Possible that we kill that codex. Uh, wind, I think I need to come up here now. And I need to... Uh, I think we like tuck in here, right? And we take a shot and then we... Don't suppress that group. I think shield bearer first. Because if he survives, we don't want him adding shields. And then with withering barrage, it's possible that we put extra damage on. And then with uh, the actual overwatches, they might not want to move as much too. Which could be kind of interesting because they're in this bubble. I think that's the play. My commander's avatar is flanked by this codex, so that's why I'm feeling like this shot with um, the shot with Spud would be good from there. He's the only chance I have left. Now I'm wondering if I go from here, is he going to be? Like, that's squad sight range, so I imagine this is probably squad sight range as well. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, it, hold on, does he have lightning reflexes? Nobody's got teleport. Five patches, yeah, okay. So, sucks to say it, but this is what I'm going to do. Ugh, the dodge. That's like worst case frickin' scenario. That's worst case scenario. This, I was a bit worried that this could happen. Yeah. That's blowing the overwatch that I'm not happy about. Nice damage, but... That commander, he's dangling. He's dangling against these codexes. Let's see what he decides to do. Going for the... Okay. Psionic Bomb's a good play. This guy, I'm hoping, can still tank some shots for us. Do it. That's great. Eat that up. Eat that up. He's still in cover, so... That put be cool. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Damage control. I love it. Show him what's up. Hell yeah, dude. I can taste it, you guys. Nice. You should be able to kill this. His aim is pretty good. Oh! I jinxed it. God damn. I jinxed it. Sorry, buddy. It's on me, I guess. It's a trooper. What a pain in the ass. Oh, he's going on the avatar. Hey, okay. Karma. Karma's a real bitch. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. That's so poetic. Oh, God. Okay, so he's going to probably die from the collapse. Ah, that's unfortunate. But if he stays there, he's probably going to die too. Ugh, there goes our suppression. 
Okay. Goddamn wind. And this bio trooper. Oh no. He's marked us. Now, he might be in that bubble though. And remember, we used his uh We used his um suit ability, the Icarus suit to get in there. Oh, Yeah, we got to pull back here and kind of regroup. We're getting overwhelmed. Okay, well, that part's good, I guess. We're going to lose this mind control soon, too. Feels like it's been like 50 turns, but it's only been like three. Okay, wind. Uh, I can move you back. <laughs> These guys gotta move. As much as I'd like to save this, I think we might have to use it. This is actually a pretty good acid bomb scenario, though. Fortunately, I can't get all three. And I might want to get him out of there first. I definitely don't want to leave him there. So... The only option is that I might put him... I might want to put him down below so we have cover somewhere. Then I don't know if we have... What do we have on him? He's got Illyrium rounds. And... Does he have a vest? Ah, I can't remember if he has a vest or not. Hmm. He's paired up with, uh, with Deadput, so... I could get him even further back, if necessary. I can get him at least to here. I can move him here, and then Deadpool can give a thing, and he comes back to this side. That's something. And then Deadpool would still have a shot here. I think that's the initial play that we make. And then I could probably get Philly. Yeah, we could we could emergency aid Philly in to uh, to heal him. Actually, we don't even need to. Well, we should because then we get. No wait. Yeah, because then I could still take shots or or go armed intervention in this scenario, which would be quite nice. We see three. Oh yeah, I like that actually. I could even go adrenaline rush. Ah, oh, but we need a freaking reload too. Damn it. Okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe that plan won't work. So, okay. Let's do this. This guy's already almost dead, so if I can hit these two, then I'm happy. It looks like I need to target somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Looks like it's hitting all the squares except for his. Let's do this. In this way, we cover this pathway in Acid 2. Ooh, that's actually... I'm taking that. That looks like it's hitting. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so he's going to die from the rupture and the... Um, 
from the rupture and the acid. I'm saving this frost for the for the chosen, hopefully, or for the uh, avatar. Okay, I'll go. Dead put. I think I'm okay dangling. We're going to teamwork first. Going to be all right. Then I'll move you back to full. These honor guards have not only damage, but pretty good aim, too. Hmm. Hey, you know what? I might be able to pull this off. Maybe not, though. It has to be a non... And yeah, an additional non-movement action. I might be able to do this. Let's bring him in here. We go emergency aid. We do a heal here. I'm going to do a rapid deployment. We're going to drop the smoke. I'm going to adrenaline rush. I'm going to reload. And then I'm going to lay down the uh, armed intervention. Assuming that this all works, then it's seemingly a pretty cool idea. I think it's probably safest just to bring the commander back here right now. His really strong uh, abilities are on cooldown. We're going to lose this mind control very soon. So I'm just going to look to cause as many problems as I can. Uh... Let's go here. We're going to break an overwatch. We'll see if we can kill the Codex with him. No longer burning, which is also nice. Actually, I'll take the one that's closer to our group. Ah, oh, jeez. This guy sucks. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Everything's gravy. Nothing to worry about. Except for everything. Okay, now. Uh, then we're going to throw down a smoke. Can't hit dead put, so we are going to focus it here. This looks decent. Clouds away. Now. Gun chances are terrible. Let's adrenaline rush. There we go. I get the reload. And now, I'm going to take armed intervention. Mind you, this is a pretty good shot. But I think we take that shot with Spud, right? And then he's got an overwatch to back this up as well. That guy dies. This guy, I think, dies too. Uh, he's not squad site right now. Mind you, we have all these free reloads. But if I can be a little bit more efficient, Back in. let's just do it. Sick. Now, I don't even think I need the armed intervention. It's dead. It has to be dead. Uh, mind you. You know what? I am going to take it. Because it puts the, um, puts the potential disorient on them. High priority, maybe this mech. These codexes are annoying, though. All right. I feel like we're going to lose our mind control here. I still have rogue, so let's bring up the, um, the extra chrysalid. Just a little casual mating call there. Yeah, see, bad bad spot for it, but this is the time to bring it up, in my opinion. This would be the time. So, If I can, I'm going to put Rogue like... I would like him in full, but I don't want him in vision of anyone. Oh, 
All right, now. There she is. So dead. We have still have the mind control. Very nice. We've got double overwatch on Philly. We have an overwatch on Spud. The possible disorients from Philly. Commander's in a safe spot. Nobody can see him. Holy frick. Ooh, now that actually... That actually... That actually is terrifying. That scares the hell out of me. One wrong move. And, uh... Whole party could go here with that many abductors. They're at least far away, but... Purify doesn't know what to do. Incoming fire. Job dead put. Dead put in this mind control unit or like holding down the fort on this right side while we dilly dally on the left. <laughs> I feel like another bubble's gonna come in here, isn't it? No, oh, no, he's going for the bio assault. That might have been the one that bubbled before. I can't remember. <laughs> Shit. What a nice shot. Oh, no. That's really bad for us. That removed the Overwatch. Spud might have a save move here, but like a save Overwatch. He can't even frost him. Because he's got uh, the vest, so. Too bad, so sad, Crow Priest. Now, do these guys see that group that just got... No, they don't. Good. Oh, no. Here's Spud's shot. Now imagine we would have had two shots, even if that guy didn't move. Oh, frick. We probably would have killed these. Well, probably would have killed both. Disorient the bottom. This guy's going to die now anyway, but not before he gets to take a shot. Oh! That, that rocket from downtown was really nice. Oof. So, I feel like my play here... Oh, are you serious? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, don't panic. Oh, he's berserk. Oh, my God. My, oh no. We have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Wow. My plan here was to use dead put to go in and and uh, break the wall and do a little bit of damage on the avatar so we force a move. Now I can't control him. So there's that. Shit. Oh, that's unfortunate. And not not a bleed out or anything. Oh, he's no longer berserk. Okay, can we can we do anything with him? <sighs> yes, we can. My God. Oh my God. Crazy. 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 <laughs> this is freaking crazy. Okay, so I'm looking at... Okay, we should... Will we have the distance? I'm looking at going up here to see if I have the distance over there. I might just have to take it from here. I'm just worried about all the targeting issues. Because if I can, if I can get this collateral damage on, that's big. Actually, I think we should be able to get it from up here. Solid 
Come on, Deadfoot, save us, man. Man, can I actually just take this shot? Yes, I can. This is even better. So we do some shred. We force the move. I'm up. Come on. Up. Anywhere on this side of the map. Okay, that's not exactly the, th the, the... That's not exactly what I was hoping. Oof. It's like somewhere over here, right? I wonder if I rage strike down here just to try to get a visual. He's, uh, if he takes the acid, I think that's okay. I would prefer not. Oof, that hurt so bad. This is another, um, this is just a play thing. Unless she spawns somewhere weird, we probably should hold off. But I need to find her. That's the key right now. My only way of closing distance is by sending him in there like this. Okay. Now, where did she go, though? Thought she was somewhere over here. Could be back here. I don't think it was that far. Hmm. We could... Uh, we can still move. I'm gonna move Lord up top. If you say so. And we don't see her. Damn. Oh, she's here. Wait, what? Oh, my bad. Oh, I thought she was way over on that left side. Oof. Okay. Well, that's really far away. And I don't see any possibility of me getting there. <laughs> I don't see it. So... We're going into survival mode. These guys likely die. He dies, right? Because he's got the... Uh, he's burning. He's got rupture and acid. He's pretty likely to die. Um, Lord, we have a free reload. This is a death. And then we'd have a reposition. We have 50-50 shots down there. Or I could move up. And increase that chance. Let's do this. We still stay in the full cover. Yeah, the bio rocket trooper's down there, but he already launched. Actually, he's the only one that can see this. So let's take this shot. And then, man, I wonder. I wonder if I just go up here with Spud. Get into the brace. Uh, and then the next turn, he can kind of see wherever he needs to from high up. Um, the only problem would be, like, maybe the Hunters. I feel like Deadput's 
pretty screwed. Let's do this. Let's do it like so. Going up. Hmm. Damn. Uh, we have Philly, so I think I'm going to take this. He sets up for the Overwatch. He doesn't have the brace. I definitely got that one. And then Lord, we take this shot down below. I think I'm just going to drop him down. Out of vision there. I'll bring Rogue over. I'm going to send this Chrysalid drone in here for whatever they want to do to it. Um, oh God. If I don't heal now, like again, this guy's probably dead. Uh, Spud may take this shot, but the others might as well. Uh, actually, Rogue, we have the stock. Let's take this. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to mess around. Okay. So dead. We reposition him. Billy, heal. Lord, get back in the fight. Oh, God. Seriously? That sucks. That's not cool. <laughs> Just trying to stay out of vision to avoid some potential mind controls. What's over there? Let's see what happens. Holy balls. Okay, so well, he's got his own buddy there, so they're both... That's cool. <laughs> Works out great. I hate to say it, but I feel like uh, if we don't kill her this turn, we are completely screwed. We're going to have a real difficult time. unfortunate overwatch to waste there. The acid burn's nice. Hey, Deadput. It's all you, buddy. He might go down to save the team. Ooh, Biomech's making two moves. We got the self-defense. Fuck yeah. Worth dropping an F-bomb there, but... Well-deserved F-bomb, in my opinion. A little bit of shred. He's still got five. Two back. Damage control paying off nicely. Our priest can't do anything. Okay, I guess he can freeze the hive drone. Fair enough. With his fire, his fiery ice. We can absorb all of this with armor. <laughs> that put. Oh shit. Still 
untouchable. I mean, 8%, that's pretty ballsy. Oh, Deadpool, come on, buddy. Just hold, dude. Keep holding. Oh no. Oof. That's rough. To be fair, that might just save his life. Kill. Kill. Kill them all. That might just save his life. These guys are gonna like buff him up now. Oh, with reanimating. Oh, shit. Okay. Interesting, even though that hive drone is frozen, they're not uh, going for it at all. Ah. Okay, well, we know what the play is here. It's 100% uh, all in on that avatar. We got a serpent suit panic, cool. We do know where the avatar is this time. I need a med kit here. Was I yun get free now? Kill. What? The hell? So I can't hit her here, but I can move and hit. Uh, there's an overwatch to contend with from that mech. Um, I guess I probably throw down the mine here just because this is kind of an all-in play for Lord, right? We don't have a running gun on, on uh, Rogue. We have a mind control backup. But like, does that help? Probably not. Okay, well. The play is that we need Lord to hit that acid bomb. So. We need to make a move over there. It's got to be a blue move. And it's got to break this overwatch as well. There's only the one overwatch. But I think this is the only thing I have. I'm trusting you here. This is for you. Okay. Well, it's on there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. 
Um. Hey. Can't mess this up right now. We can take this shot. I, th I think we got to go for the freeze play. Real talk. Come on, Spud. Shit. That is so bad. That is real bad. Okay, so the next play is... Do I bring Philly to take the double shot? Or do I bring Rogue... Or do I just use Spud's shot now? It's not going to get much better for him. I think I have to maximize damage output. And I think we do that with Philly. I guess that will be okay. We can't, we're not going to crit for 30. Oh my god. Miss the target. Okay, okay, this is okay. This is okay. Spud can see this. Uh, are you serious? These reflections are like game winning. Rogue still has a shot. Be nice to get that that rupture on there, okay? One turn from dimensional rift. I mean, this has got to be the play that we go for here. We're close enough where we could get a big crit out of this. Oh, 16. God damn. He might die from the... Uh... Oh, my God. He might die from the acid. But what I need to do is I need to come in and I need to take the shot with the commander's avatar. That's the only hope. That's the only hope. Bud does have an overwatch, but there's a bunch of other guys that are going to act. Me taking a mind control doesn't help at all. He's in full, right? Chances are quite low. I'm looking to see if I can get it from here, but I don't think that I can. Just for the high ground. All right. Forty five. God. Frick. We'll see what they take with the acid. It, it could happen. Because she's ruptured. We need it to happen. the heel. Frick.
Well, I think that's it. The avatar is literally standing in the open. This whole group beside her is, or beside him, is gonna destroy him. Ah, oh, Spud, no Overwatch. Spud, Overwatch, there would have been awesome. Brick. Oh, man. Just put me out of my misery. I think we lost. Okay, he's going on Lord. What is this? Holy, what the? Well, that's interesting. The Rippers. You're telling me there's a chance. Lightning field. Good play. Oh no. <laughs> I can't watch. I can't. Oh no. What? Why aren't they... <sighs> oh, here it is. Rick! Another needless sacrifice, like so many others of your kind. If only you had listened. We reclaim what was lost. Oh, that's so devastating. Oh, that's devastating, man. Oh, that's so devastating. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so this is actually next day future odd here, and I thought I'd pop in to wrap up this campaign since I kind of just rambled on after the devastation we just witnessed. Uh, but first things first, we did lose. We lost. And you know what? I'm okay with it. Uh, I did consider an extra video to try and uh, do over on the final mission as a way of kind of resolving the campaign nicely, quote unquote, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Today we take the loss. We've had a lot of wins and by all accounts, this campaign <laughs> looked like it was going to be another one, uh, but Advent did have other plans. I will, however, do something a little bit different to wrap this up. Uh, I'm going to re-watch the last turn and provide you with any kind of do-differently considerations through the eyes of what I would like to refer to as our always correct captain named Hindsight. Uh, so let's do that, and then I'll share some final thoughts about the campaign as a whole and talk about a possible finale video that I'd like to involve uh, some of the roleplay group in. So let's queue up that last turn. This is going to be the first time that I've watched it back in full, and I'm going to provide you my thoughts as we go. <laughs> So I'm going to basically be like critiquing myself. Should be interesting. Okay, so we're watching the end of the alien turn. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do this off the cuff. Talk about some of the decisions that we made here. Um, 
The avatar being so far away, the, the first thing we could have potentially tried to do differently is just deal with this group that's in front of us and let them come to us. This, the thing that I always have in the back of my mind is that we're just going to get overwhelmed. Even that sectopod alone, you're going to have to use so many abilities just to just to shred it down. Um, and then we have to pump the avatar full of lead, which is going to be tough. Um, so I still think that the right call is to try and get this avatar down. We, remember, we also have things we can't see here. We've got the sectoid abductors in the back. We're surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six or seven big enemies here? Um, not counting the little chrysalid rippers. Odex, Viper, Archon, Elite Lancer, Sectopods. And is that, I think, the mech on the thing beside us? So the defensive mine, I think, not very important. Um, it would have been really nice if the Avatar happened to just pounce on it. But uh, at the end of the day, that was kind of like, a, well, let's see what happens. And at this point, I'm still feeling pretty confident. I'm not looking at this as like, oh, we're in big trouble here. Because in my opinion, we should be able to at least hit the Avatar with something. If she teleports really far away, then she teleports really far away. And then we'll deal with this group. But if she teleports towards us, great. We've got options to lock her down. Um... Looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe we should have used the Frost Bomb here. That doesn't help us at all, just from a distance perspective. She's way too far. And I actually don't know if we have the... Uh, I don't know if the radius is large enough. Uh, no, we probably could, based on how that looks. This is for you. We could have frozen her here, but then what? And we still have to chew through this huge group in front of us with all of those other enemies coming in, plus a mind-controlled uh, dead foot, so... I still think this is the right call in this scenario. So she teleports in. Okay, so this is like, we've got her where we want her. This is literally the perfect position. And I'm thinking, okay, let's just lock her down. We don't have vision from where Spud is currently. Um, we have to move and I want to put that frost on. I believe... I don't remember exactly. I think the frost is, was what, like a 93%, uh, but we're gonna see it here in a second. And I'm moving him down here just to improve our chances as best as we can to get that frost on. Um, when we get a closer look at the aim, I'm curious to see if distance matters for that uh, frost ability. Because if so, then I could have put him right next, but I'm not sure if there's any distance changes for this. Yeah, it's just straight aim. She's got like an innate defense, and we missed. And I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. We missed. If we hit that, we win, no problem. But I'm still like, okay, we got a lot of damage here. Um, and I think in the... When I was making this decision, I'm weighing out whether or not we want to take double shot with Philly or if we want to go in with Rogue. Um... I still think the double shot with Philly is good. Now remember, we're in the 7% world here. If that, if that was a 93% freeze that we missed, we're in 7% land. And now I'm like, okay, now how do we adjust for this? I'm still not really concerned. I'm still thinking we can probably pull this off. Um, how do I maximize our damage while she's close? And I still think the double shot with Philly is the right call here. I guess that will be okay. um, the problem is, as we're about to find out, one of these gets reflected back. At least we didn't miss, but... So one of those gets reflected back. Sad times. And here I'm still, I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm like, okay. We still have vision with Spud, which was definitely going to be a concern. Um, once we take the shot with Spud, we put him on an overwatch, which is cool with ready for anything. But of course, she reflects two attacks in a row, essentially. And the attack back at least didn't hit us. Me. Come on, focus. And then, okay, so with, what would our what would our other option be here? At this point, do we just kind of say, all right, maybe we should just deal with these guys and deal with that onslaught of other enemies coming in? 
I'm still in the mindset of like, okay, I think we just put as much damage out on her as possible. We've got Dashboard who can crit for big damage. We've seen him crit for... I think we've seen him crit over 20, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now, one of the Avatar's abilities, I think, is like a resilience to crits or something. It doesn't seem to matter that much here, but that was really, that was really good. She's down to four, and now I'm like, okay, what's our plan? This is kind of where I, I realized, uh-oh, I might be in trouble. We're surrounded by enemies. That sectopod is the biggest concern that I have. And I'm like, I kind of need to go. I need to go for it. Here. I need to go for it. And truthfully, I don't think that I was considering the avatar survival as a game losing condition. I don't know if I was, um, which is obviously a pretty costly issue. Um, but looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, there's probably some spots that we could have just run into full cover. Um, we don't have hunkered down, it looks like, on the avatar, I just realized. Like, we're in cover right now. She should be able to hunker down, but the avatar doesn't have, uh, doesn't have it. So I move in, I take the shot, and we know what happens there. Um, we lose. But... Looking at this, I think I would have tried maybe moving back a bit and mind controlling something to be like a tank for us. Because that would have given us the best option to survive in this scenario, which I probably should have just been trying to do. We That may have come at the loss of definitely Lord probably goes down. Um... Maybe, maybe Philly, based on his position. Um, we don't know because of where I have the avatar, the commander's avatar right now. But I think the safer play, the thing I should have at least tried, at least tried, was to bring her back, just mind control something else. Maybe drop her down by that viper who's panicked. Mind control something else and uh, hope that they target that and they spare us or miss us or whatever. But I'm looking at a sectopod with multiple actions. I'm looking at a bunch of enemies next to us. A lancer, a, uh, a mech that can break cover with missiles. We've got these guys zoning in from the right side. These hunters can shoot freaking across the map. Um, I don't, obviously we don't know what would have happened, but at my first reaction to watching this whole thing, that's definitely something I would have tried. It's definitely something I would have tried. Yeah, it's a tough one to watch, but um, there was a lot of things that went against us there, and it, I wish that they didn't, but we did get a little XCOM, and then I went a little too aggressive, in my opinion. All right, so in conclusion, uh, just to kind of sum things up in a nice, tight fashion here, there's definitely a few things we couldn't account for all encompassed in that last turn. 93% miss from Spud. So straight from there, we're living in that 7% world where it's like, oh, okay, we miss a seven, we miss a 93. What happens? What do we do? We've got not one, but two reflections from the Avatar and Philly and Spud. And then I definitely overlooked some potentially safer options for my Avatar position. I might have just went for a full dash even, maybe a mind control. Um, they did close in with the uh, Stun Lancer. The Sectopod could do whatever he wanted. Um... I don't, we, obviously we don't know, but if I could do it again, those definitely the things that I would have changed. Um, hide in full cover, try a mind control, then hope for the best. Uh, if they gun for our avatar, we'd still likely lose, as I say, but the additional targets and mind control and other squad mates, we might have been safe enough for one more turn. And then I think she had the, um, the large, like, size storm thing on uh, cooldown for like one more turn. So might've been able to use that to kill the avatar as well. But uh, you know what? Maybe, all of that is maybes. And that's XCOM, baby. That's XCOM. A lot of best guesses, a few coin flips here and there. But that's why, that's why I love the game. That's why I love this game. Uh, anyways, let's talk about the campaign, the mods, future plans, etc. First of all, um, I loved, I loved this campaign. It was really fun. I had a good, good uh, time with it every time I sat down to play. 
that was largely due to uh, the mods that we were using. I want to first of all highlight uh, Shire's class mods. They like revitalized the entire game for me. Some of them, I would say uh, five of the six were really good. One of them was kind of a dud. The tech specialist, just, I don't know what it was. Eventually, once he got shredding and double shooting, like that's cool, but that also was kind of stuff that other classes could do. So he didn't really have his unique place in the campaign, in my opinion. And uh, maybe that's just my playstyle. totally could be. But I would love to see, I would love to see him continue to work on that class. Get it up to the other level of other classes um, where in its like uniqueness, you know? Because once you start dealing with beefier enemies, the only thing that really matters is like either multiple shots or higher damage or whatever. And uh, there's a lot of toolkit that the tech specialist has that you just can't use. And maybe that's some of XCOM's enemies uh, list issues. Like we don't face a ton of robotic enemies. And even if we do like if I can shoot twice, I will, instead of uh, using like a combat protocol generally. Uh, it depends on the situation. Um, but a lot of the other classes were great. I would, if I do another campaign, I would definitely use these classes as a base and I would look to add and maybe supplement with other classes that people are working on. Um, but I would definitely use this as a base because I feel like there's still a lot of experimentation that I would personally like to do um, within each of those. So awesome job there. The, uh, the other mods that really stood out are like some of the enemy mods, the um, Sectopod uh, Annihilator, the Forge Sectopods, the Omega Berserkers, um, even the like um, the elite snipers that came early uh, were pretty cool. The Hive was really nice. Now, the challenge with the Hive is we kind of had enemy mod saturation happening. And so I think with the Hive, the way to really use that is kind of make that almost your sole enemy mod. Almost go vanilla with just the Hive and focus on getting the chrysalids out and like spawning things from those nests and just kind of getting the map a bit crazy. Um, the Hive Queen was exceptional. Best ruler by far awesome like beats the uh beats the berserker the viper and the uh the archon no question cooler toolkit lots of hp but not too much like i feel like they're really honing in on that balance there and the hive queen armor is obviously really strong i would probably remove the uh titan armor mod that we had that that armor is just oh that's super 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 strong um but it's still a cool concept and it works really well, but that free movement in to do a huge AOE is it, uh, it's a lot and it's, it's very powerful, as we saw in some of the some of the later missions. Um, Kex, I gotta give a shout out to Kex for doing some amazing work with, um, with just a lot of cosmetic mods. Deadput had some really cool cosmetic mods, a lot of people did, but um, Kex really stood out this season cosmetically um, for the for all of the hair and different looks that we could give people. Really well done. And you guys really went to town on some of them. We had some really unique looking characters. So I loved it. Um, I think the challenge with mods right now are creating enemies that we don't destroy as soon as we see them. Um, but what do you do, right? As a modder, I got to be thinking to myself, okay, I want something that's going to be challenging. So what do I do? Do I give it 300 HP, right? Like, do I just give it super cool abilities? And if I do give it super cool abilities, how do I, how do I make it so that those abilities aren't just like so strong and then he's got so much HP that it just wipes the whole squad? Like, balancing something like that is so incredibly difficult, and um, it's it's a fine line because you want to provide a challenge. But if it's impossible, if it, or if it, it doesn't matter if it is impossible or not, if it feels impossible, people aren't going to like it. And so I really hope that people continue to develop cool enemy mods that provide a challenge. Um, the the Forge Sectopods actually I thought were really great because they would show up unannounced. They weren't showing on the uh, Shadow Chamber. It was kind of a cool surprise. You could make guesses based on like enemy counts and stuff. Um, but stuff like that was was quite cool, and you had to think outside the box. And 
And maybe one of the things to take away from some of the enemy mods that we saw, um, things that enemy mods that have almost ruler type reactions where you hit them, they do something back right away. Those provide way more of a challenge. You might be thinking, okay, yeah, but you just frost bomb them. Sure. But if there's more enemies like that, that have those reactionary type abilities, then it makes it um, a lot more of a challenge because you can't frost bomb everything. You can't. You might eventually get a frost vest. You've got the, the Viper suit with the frost, um, but that takes a long time to get to. And you would have to, again, do it in a way where you don't just shoot it and he comes and kills your whole squad and you have no way of like, it's tough. But I think those are the more challenging um, enemies for sure. Otherwise, like, I was pretty happy with the trajectory of the campaign. The start was uh, pretty tense. We, it we had some close missions. Uh, the middle section got really dicey. We had people that were uh, injured or tired for long periods of time. We had to really shuffle things around and um, force ourselves to use different squads that, than we normally would. Uh, towards the end, we definitely started crushing. And again, that's just some of the some of the enemy makeup that we would run into it's like we could just one shot a bunch of enemies um when we would go into a late game and we would see like an elite trooper show up i was always kind of like oh really you know like an elite trooper okay cool or like a purifier right purifiers are useless they don't do anything i think if a purifier throws a fire grenade <laughs> that's like the best thing they can do but otherwise they're useless and so when they would show up it's like okay fine but it's a challenge, and from a from a um, YouTube perspective, like you don't want to have. Going back to my earlier point about just increasing HP across the board for enemies, you don't want to have um, two hour long episodes all the time. You just don't. It's people don't watch it. It's it's uh, it's a lot of work, and it's not. It doesn't make sense to do, especially on on YouTube if that's the consistent thing. Once in a while, we have a super crazy mission in the last two hours, cool. But if you just increase HP all across the board, then you're probably just extending mission times too. So it kind of goes back to that tough to balance type of thing. Um, yeah, so anyways, I hope that that provides some context on my thoughts of the uh, of the mod list. There's other mods in there that were, that were great. Um, there's other mods that were not so great, but I'm not gonna dissect every single one. I'm just using the ones that kind of stand out to me um, at the end. Uh, going forward, future campaigns. A couple things I learned from this campaign that I would implement uh, in future. Number one, uh, I don't think I would use stocks anymore. Stocks were definitely amplified in this playthrough because we got really good faction cards. All of our faction cards from, I believe, the Reaper faction were insanely powerful. Really good. The one that boosts all of your, uh, all of your weapon mods is just it's it's awesome you have weapons that are dealing four damage on misses like that's huge what do you you know and i was rolling with stocks for a good part of the uh the campaign i think the last probably i don't know seven to ten episodes or something i started removing stocks um because we were just we needed to infer some type of additional uh challenge um at the end there you know stocks might have helped us win <laughs> It, we might have. We should need, you know, if we had a... Well, we were shooting with the avatars. So it doesn't matter. I don't want to get too much back into that ending part, but uh, she was sitting on, what, like, four health or something? So, who knows? Who knows? Maybe it would get reflected. You don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I would probably get rid of stocks. Uh, repeaters we already uh, nerfed. And I actually like the change to repeaters, where it just gives that plus one uh, crit damage. Um, I like that change. That's cool. I think there's uh, a couple of mods that I'll check out to to change stocks into something else, but they're really strong, and that's fine. A good discussion that always comes up is like everything is is OP in XCOM if you use it, which is true. Uh, you could look at any item and be like, "Yep, that's OP." <laughs> you know, frost bomb, that's OP. Uh, the grappling hook, that's OP. Uh, rage fist, that's OP. Stocks, OP. Basic, like the normal vanilla repeaters, OP, which, you know, those definitely were. But um, yeah, so those are a couple things that I would probably change uh, regarding that. I would also put in more uh, 
clearly stated and rigorous guidelines about uh, character submissions. There was a little bit of confusion early on about what characters we were accepting and which characters we weren't. And that's, that's my fault. I need to do a much better job of clearly defining what we look for and what we don't. Some of the things that um, we would neglect to use would be like um, potentially triggering uh, really, really dark backstories. Like we read a lot of backstories and uh, some of them are really intense and like uncomfortable. And we tend to kind of gravitate away from those a bit. Um, but also like using characters from other games. I think one of the early characters that we got ended up being like uh, Jack from Mass Effect 3, but I didn't catch the reference. Um, and so sometimes that stuff might slip under the radar. But anyways, I will come up with very clear guidelines as to what is acceptable and what's not in terms of uh, character backstories and stuff. And I'll make that as a uh, do differently going forward. Generally, it's been okay, but this season, definitely, we had a lot of questions about um, who was being approved and who wasn't and stuff. So that's on me, and I'll, I'll make it better for the uh, next one. Um, some other mods that I would probably be looking into is there's, I think it's called, like, Yellow Alert or something like that. I might not be saying it correctly. Um, but just things that up the challenge a little bit. Maybe looking at pod size stuff. The challenge is... Early in the campaign, some things feel nearly impossible. The The goal for the, a future campaign, which very likely will happen unless XCOM 3 gets released like in the next, you know, four months or three, five months or something. Um, but very likely, I'll be looking to add some mods that, I don't know if like artificially increasing wound times or rest times, but something to force us to bring different squads. And one idea that came up was having to um, use like a squad A, a squad B, and a squad C type of thing, uh, and however many squads you need. And if people aren't available in squad A, then you can't can't roll with them. You gotta roll with squad B or whoever has all these group or whoever has everybody available. Um, that might not be realistic. It would require some testing, but it's a cool idea and something that I'm definitely open to. Um, other than that, guys, I think that pretty much covers it. As I said in the uh, log reading at the very beginning of the final mission, I really appreciate the support. Um, I hope that the outcome of this campaign doesn't deter people for whatever reason. I hope it doesn't make people upset. Some people will be because they're like, well, I'll just redo the mission totally respect that opinion um but i kind of i kind of want this campaign to be remembered as the one that got away the one that shows that like anything can happen you know think back to that last turn we got xcom a few times a few times and then i went for an aggressive move that had a low chance of success if it would have hit it would have been like oh my god yes thank god but it didn't it didn't pay off and i I tend to go with like safer options 80, 90% of the time. Uh, but I really want this campaign to kind of be, to stand out as the one that's like anything can happen and it did. And uh, I think that's okay. I love XCOM for this reason. I have a great time playing this game because you never know what's going to happen. And um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic for that. So I hope you guys really had a good time. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed the journey to where we got and saw the rise of all these badass soldiers. Um, if I could do a Legends campaign with, uh, or if I, if I was building out mocks with Legends again, there'd be a bunch from this season that would be in there. Like, a ton. And that's, that doesn't happen every season. So, um, I think that says a lot. Mox is another one, not to go off on another tangent. I'm not sh Mox is cool. Don't get me wrong. Okay? But, early on, we just Alpha Strike them, peace, whatever, they're gone. Maybe those are the guys where you buff their HP a little bit. You try to get them closer to that XCOM level of survivability. Um, because they're just chilling in a pod. We hit a, hit them with a frost bomb or whatever, and we destroy them. Uh, we hit them with any bomb, and then they're basically dead. So there's, there's definitely ways that we can try to tweak that. I like the idea of Mox. I like the missions that Mox adds. I like the um, personality that Mox adds. I probably use them but see if we can maybe tweak it to be 
a little bit more, uh, to give them a little bit more longevity and you see them coming back and becoming more powerful and stuff. I wish I would have experimented more with like trying to capture them. We only went for like, one or two, I think. I can't remember. Not very many. <laughs> and uh, I don't even know if we, did we even try to? Can't remember. But we got one, we know that, and it worked out great, and that was cool until they died. So, anyways, uh, XCOM 3 hopefully soon, and uh, I will likely be starting a Darkest Dungeon run. If you don't know what Darkest Dungeon is, I would say that 90% of XCOM fans would love Darkest Dungeon. It's very different gameplay-wise, but it's very similar in terms of roster management and the stories that kind of unfold over time. Uh, especially for people doing uh, role play stuff. Really cool world to like sink your teeth into. Anyways, last thing before I go, I did mention earlier that um, I'd like to kind of share some ideas about a possible finale video. I'd like to involve the people that are writing for these characters in. Totally optional if you want to do it. But um, I wouldn't mind doing one final kind of send off video. Maybe it's obituaries. Maybe it's um, I don't know. I'm open to I'm open to suggestions. Obituaries is kind of an easy one to lean into, um, but I'm open to the role play group maybe deciding on something that we could um, roll with and share with the larger community. Um, the larger community has voiced that they really do like the the log excerpts during the loading screens. I really would like to continue that in future seasons. Um, and maybe try to refine it a bit so that we could tell more of a contiguous or continuous story. I would like for, to be able to pull that off. Um, but yeah, I, if we can put one final, almost like a tribute video together, I would really like that with some long, longer form uh, writing from these guys, just to kind of highlight the work that they put in and just to really reinforce that we had some exceptional characters and some exceptional sh soldiers uh, in this playthrough that um, we won't forget for a long time. So, guys, that's it for me. I didn't expect this to take this long uh, of wrapping up the, the campaign, but I had a lot to, uh, to say and share with you guys. And uh, we will see you soon. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. And um, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye for now.